Hey! I'm back. You may remember that in my last video, I released my game Topple Tactics to the public. Well, it went pretty damn well. Topple Tactics, I become a god. Is is good. Good. This led to a pretty hefty list of tasks. And if you know anything about multiplayer games, it's that they are, well, a pain in the ass. Within two days, a few people already found a bug which lets you stack hundreds of towers on top of one another. So after putting myself through hell over the last month to get this game out on time, it was once again time for the Sigma Male grind set. In case you're new here, this game is kind of like a tower defense game but multiplayer, where one big guy towers above the map placing towers and a bunch of little guys act as tower defense minions and have to get to the end to shoot themselves at the big guy in a giant cannon and defeat him. And by by the way, if I sound a bit sick in this video, it's because I am. Seriously, f English winter. It's literally 4pm and it's already dark. I hate it. So I wrote all the bugs I wanted to fix down and not too much later, I put together and released the first bug fix update. I wish it was that easy. Seriously, if you value your sanity, don't make a multiplayer game. Everything literally takes twice as long. Want to make a tower in a single player game? Just make the tower, make it follow the player, and make it shoot once in a while. In a multiplayer game, whoa, no, just you wait. You can't just create the gun. You need to make sure it's created for every player. Then you need to make sure the animations are synced. Then you need to make sure it spawns the bullets for everyone. Then that bullet needs to be synced, which creates problems because it's in slightly different places for the server and the person playing because of ping. You get my point. So now that all the immediate raging fires are put out, it was time to start planning what to add to the game next. You know, one thing I do like a lot is space. Tutti also likes space, so I decided to add a space map. The only problem is, in every other map, the big guy's lower body is hidden in water, whereas in space, there is no water. I did think of an ingenious solution though. Nice. I also made a flying in animation, so now the big guy doesn't look out of place anymore. Another thing space doesn't have, which is otherwise pretty important to the gameplay, is gravity. That's okay though. The space map will have gravity because of the absolutely fucking massive black hole below it. I also put together a little path with this asset pack I bought. I tried adding a space skybox, but it looked really strange. Instead, I used tricks from my No Man's Sky video, which nobody watched, to make it look more like space. It was still missing a little something something though, and I knew exactly what that was. And bear with me on this, I added some Unity particles, I made them all fly like this, I then downloaded some spaceships, replaced the particles with spaceship models, and then made each spaceship emit little lights to act as thrusters. How cool is that? Oh, and of course, we got the one and only Tim Haywood to make some awesome space music for this map. I call this the Celestial Citadel. Since this is a tower defense game, it would also make sense to add a new tower. A lot of players say that strategies that let you fly in the air are pretty OP, so anti-air tower it is. There are a few cool anti-air weapons, but nothing quite beats this. So naturally, it's now in the game. It's a little strong for the base level though, so I made this flak type tower for the level 1 version and a homing missile tower as the other upgrade branch. After I got these fucking missiles pointing in the right direction, these towers are unique because they also follow you vertically instead of just horizontally like the other towers, which also came with its own challenges. Did I mention that I love angles? All of these towers are weak if you're just standing next to them. But as soon as you're in the air, they absolutely slam you to the ground. Thanks to Schlabby for making the tower models. Oh, and to nerf air strategies a bit more, I nerfed the aeroplane hat, which would literally let you float forever. The next big issue was that there was no reason to carry on playing after you've experienced the game fully. You know, tried all the weapons and seen all the upgrades. In other games, there's stuff to work towards, like skins and achievements. The first thing I added was a way to track your stats across games so you can see your KD, your total medals, and all that cool stuff so you can anxiously compare yourself to your friends. I used those stats to make some new achievements for the game as well. Thanks Johnny for the achievement art. Johnny also made a bunch of skins that you could work towards now as well, like skins for finishing enough games and even two ultimate skins. One for getting 100 diamond medals and one for shooting yourself at the big guy 2,000 times. Because we had new models and the current customization only changed the textures of the character, I of course had to re 
remake the entire customization system to activate specific models depending on the skin you have equipped, only to put the models in and have them do this. Thanks, Unity. Thankfully, this random post from a few years ago saved my ass because I just copied and pasted his code and it made it work. During the Christmas season, you can also unlock this skin if you find the secret I've hidden in one of the maps. I'm gonna make it unobtainable soon, so go find it. Currently, to choose the big dude, everyone gets spawned on this giant island that slowly falls apart and has to slap the crap out of each other to be the last one standing. The problem with this is that some people have a bit of a skill issue. Those people never get to be the big guy. So, I coded another minigame which randomly chooses the big player. But having that be the minigame half of the time would get really boring. So, I also added another minigame with a giant sweeper like this, inspired by Total Wipeout. I also wanted to add something to the upgrade tree of the little guy while I was at it and decided to add something to the shoes tree. Right now, we have a tanky tree and a move fast tree. So I also added a double jump tree. These shoes, well, they let you double jump. The first branch lets you double jump but better, and these let you double jump whilst also bending the path of projectiles around you. I think the update is ready for a beta test. Thankfully, there's not too many bugs. Yeah, that was wishful thinking. Apparently, I made the grounder a little bit too OP, and people were complaining of lag because of how many bullets it shoots, so I adjusted that accordingly. Okay, so after I fixed all of that and made sure nothing else broke, which it did, like three times, and I had to re-upload the game to Steam, like three times, the update is now live. It's around this time the anxiety kicks in and you think, what if I left something in that lets someone get unlimited money by accident? Updating a game that thousands of people play is nerve-wracking to say the least. The game is currently on sale, so go grab it. It's only going to get better and better, and who knows? Maybe one day I'll increase the price to a million dollars. So technically, seven dollars is a steal. I need to make enough money to buy Twitter from Elon, so every little helps. Thanks boys, and see you next video.